Let's the review of Evolution X 5.9.3 on Poco X2. Let's get to the about phone. So in about phone, as you can see, the version is 5.9.3, and the kernel is Radical kernel 3.0, and you get the October patch, as you can see. Let's get to the main customizations. That is the evolver. In this, you get tons and tons of options. So in themes, in this you get a color picker, dark theme. Down here you get font style. Icon shape, icon pack, rounded corners, certain dashboard icons, switch toggle style, etc. In individual mode, in this you get status bar height, header sizes, and nav bar colors. As you can see, down here you get lock screen clock style, and you get many options. As you can see, then you get display cutout. In this you get color style. In this you get normal immersion height. Down here you get background alpha. Brightness header style, custom header, QS alias co, QS icon style, QS tint style. In this you get default ascent color OS and A12. In volume panel you get volume panel style. In this you get default compact audio title MIUI OS P404 and shape shift. And last you get show app volume in status bar. In this you get network traffic monitor. In this you get location. Display mode, auto hide and show arrows, and clock and date. In this you get show clock and date, clock position, AMPM style and show seconds. In date gate, date style, date format, date position etc. In battery indicators, in this you get battery style, battery percentage etc. Then you get icons, show four G usability, roaming indicator etc. In notification, in this you get ticker, and ticker you get no ticker and notification ticker. Then you get ticker renovation style and ticker duration. In head up, in this you get head up, time out, less boring head up, add up to stop list and add up to blacklist. At the last you get blink flash chart for calls. In QS, in this you get quick pull down, smart pull down, decibel QS one log, frozen column etc. Down here you get show QS all data, OS brightness slider, auto brightness etc. Then down here you get Battery usage, battery percentage, battery estimate, etc. In power menu, in this you get system settings. Then down here you get advanced restart, hide and lock screen, and option user action. In this you get none, screenshots, and record, flashlight, and on the go mode. In gestures, in this you get system gestures. In this you get double tap, that is double to check phone and double to sleep. Then down here you get Quick level in the camera, navigation, lift to check phone, prevent ringing, three finger screenshot. In this you get three finger screenshot, screenshot type, and screenshot quality. Then down here you get power menu, skip to track, and last you get adapt to playback. As you can see, in gestures you get long press for torch and brightness control. In lock screen, in this you get AOD schedule. Fingerprint operation and fingerprint or change operation. Then you get status bar, log icon, charge animation, etc. In visualizer, when you turn it on, you get automatic color, lava lamp, line count, sunny level, and line opacity. In music, you get media cover art, media cover art filter, and media art or color level. In buttons, in this you get nav bar, navigation. In volume buttons, you get volume rocker wake. Control playback, keyboard cursor control, rear and volume button, and last you get show volume button left. In extras you get click to parse screenshot. In animations, in this you get display animation, screen animation, bash animation, scrolling catch. A. In QS animations you get animation style, duration, and time animation in double order. In miscellaneous, in this you get game mode. In game mode you get dynamic mode, display order brightness, show menu overlay. Notification Danmaku. In this you get actual Danmaku. Dynamic file notification. Danmaku size and Danmaku speed. Then you get quick start apps. Menu version level. In D and D you get disable alert. No ringing and set call automatically. Then down here you get disable gestures. Then down here you get screenshot settings. In this you get the same options. Then you get full brightness values, ambient brightness and ambient noticeable brightness. Down here you get Sensor blocker package, wave lock blocker, 
alarm blocker, USB configuration, and last you get radio info. As you can see, an hour section for Revolution X room and battery. You got the same option that is a battery saver, and the battery life is average. I got around six hours on time. And display. In this you get lock screen. In this you get notification lock screen. I love face and lock, skip lock screen, I touch lock screen, show lockdown option, battery run bottom, and when to show gate, all are show down info, left to check phone, wake screen for notification, and battery gesture, all is on charging, and paint pulse on new track, and am the energy ticker, then you get use 8 12 search bar, and live display, in this you get reading mode, and color calibration, down here you get device special settings, in this you get refresh rate, and security, you get screen lock, fingerprint, and face unlock, and everything works fine. And down here you get app locker. As you can see, in system you get gestures. In this you get the same gestures, but down here you get Poco parts. In this you get display color calibration. In LCD features. In this you get HBA mode and CVC mode. Then down here you get vibration strength, USB 2.0 fast charge, and Poco sound answer. As you can see, in recent, you get screenshot and select. For clear all, you have to go all the way back. As you can see, let's check the Android score. The Android score is 3,51,224. Let's check the Geekbench score. In this, the single go score is 524 and multi go score is 1566. And safety net and run test. As you can see, it's passed. In DRM info. And down here, as you can see, the element is working fine in play store and settings at the last as you can see the device is certified now let's check the cpu throttling as you can see the cpu throttling is 95 percent and maximum charging speed is 2940 amperes in this you get a stock camera that is the slap camera as you can see but of course you can use gcam now let's check the call soaking or not As you can see, the calls are looking fine and the room is very smooth. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next one.